Hello Star Wars fans, welcome to Star Wars Questioner channel. This is your host, Adam the Star Wars Questioner. The Clone Wars was a massive explosion on the galactic scale, not only as a battlefield, but in droid and starship technology and in the medical process. With millions of clones running around, proving that the technology and fighting quality could be put in them as well, a rather interesting question comes up. Since the Jedi were leading an army of clones, and saw how effective clones were, why did the Jedi not clone themselves? Why didn't the Council order clones made to bolster their ranks? Would not the Jedi have benefited from a massive wave of clones who were force sensitive? There is no reason for this bizarre oversight in canon. However, in Legends, it goes into the reason in great detail. Most Jedi did not believe cloning Jedi was possible. When Starkiller claimed he was a clone, General Ram Koda adamantly said he was no clone because it was impossible. Indeed, almost all the clones of Galen Merrick were horribly deformed both physically and mentally. There were a few successful attempts at creating clones of Jedi. Joris Saibayoth was one such Jedi clone who was successfully cloned and retained the Jedi's skills and memories due to memory implants of the original host. Starkiller was successful as well, and was perhaps even more powerful than the original host. The Dark Apprentice was the last and most perfect of the Galen Merrick clones, able to understand that memories of the original host were not his own and did not affect him. Dorsk 81 and 82 were clones that were developed naturally and were powerful force users. If there were these successful tests, why didn't the Jedi make clones? Well, the last four were after the Jedi Order's original fall. Joris Saibayoth was a secret clone made by the host, with the Council being unaware of what had happened, and two of the three revealed flaws in the cloning. The Force affected clones in a bad way, especially when attempts to have accelerated clones, the Force almost without fail retaliated against the aberration in nature. It made them insane, warping their minds and making them unstable and violent. This cloning madness made cloning, especially for sensitives, a dangerous proposition. Starkiller was unable to completely separate his own experiences from the memories of a dead man. This made him emotionally unstable, and the memories were at times paralyzing to him. Jorah Sabayoth was infamous for his insanity, his tantrums, and violent unpredictability. His ability to reason on a mature level simply wasn't there. Thrawn, when he was making his clone legions, had Yes and Lamari brought in because they could push away the Force, allowing the clones to develop and be born without being messed up, because for some reason the Force could only mess with them while they were developing. Would the same thing happen to Jedi in canon? Maybe not, as clones were not sheltered from the Force, yet unlike the Legends clones, who were all but identical to the originals in skills and memories, clones of canon are not all the same person. Individual clones are different in skills, desires, and their very natures. It is possible that cloned Jedi actually would not want to be Jedi at all, due to them not being considered real people, and turn on the Jedi or create a whole new faction dedicated to their own version of Force philosophy. However, with the introduction of midichlorians into the canon, a personal speculation of mine arises that even with DNA from the original host, it is possible that midichlorians cannot be cloned. Therefore, clones of Jedi simply can't exist because there will not be midichlorians with which they can access the cosmic force, the energy field that binds everything together. Perhaps it simply is impossible to clone Jedi in canon because there would be no way to clone the midichlorians and therefore they simply would lack force sensitivity. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Why do you think the Jedi did not clone themselves? Leave your comments down below. As always, uh, with your Star Wars questions. Questions not only power this channel, but life as well. Have a wonderful day and may the Force be with you.